Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another walking tour video. We're going to be checking out Tokyo's Midtown Shopping Mall building plaza area here in Roppongi. It's a very nice um, complex of buildings. There's like kind of like a shopping mall inside. Uh, they have hotel here, office buildings and stuff. A uh, very beautiful park behind it, and um, it's right in the heart of Roppongi. I highly recommend you check it out if you ever are in the area. Let's go check it out. Now there's uh, several different buildings here, you can see. And they kind of make up this whole Tokyo Midtown area. These are all office buildings, but there's also a shopping center, some art. Lots of restaurants. It's a very cool place to visit. Um, and they also are very famous for their uh, winter illumination. So they even have uh, a sign here. Illumination route is this direction. Unfortunately, we're here uh, a little after 1 p.m. on a Monday. So it's just after the lunch break. A lot of the office workers are kind of returning back to their buildings. And uh, so, yeah, we can't see uh, the Christmas lights lighting up everything, but uh, that, that is definitely a magnificent sight to behold. Um, but today's video is going to be during the daytime. Nice momiji trees. And yeah, so th uh, I'm not going to show like everything. Obviously, there's some places within this area that I, I just can't go. Um, you know, I don't work here, so there's a lot of restricted areas. Um, you definitely need like a pass or a name tag or whatever to um, get into those places. But I'll try to show you um, as much as I can and give you guys a sense of what it's like to just be around here. Nice kind of water feature. Yeah, so do you guys know Fuji Film? So Fuji Film have their offices all inside of this place it's like their um the fujifilm corporation their business innovation corporation um their healthcare department like all that stuff is in midtown west and um over on on this building this is midtown east uh on the first floor there's a starbucks but i'm, I'm actually really not sure what other companies have their offices in here but it's very nice. In this kind of middle courtyard area, there's a lot of like neat little stone places to sit and um, you know drink coffee, make a phone call or something, just kind of rest. Uh, right here we've got these uh, quote unquote sustainable Christmas trees, it's kind of an installation. Looks like a bunch of branches just kind of put together. They have a huge kind of uh, open canopy, like ribbing. I don't know what the right word would be for that, but very cool. And there's a lot of stuff actually below us um, in the basement level. So these windows actually are skylights leading down uh, shining light, you can see people walking by, um, leading down to the shops and the restaurants and stuff down there. I actually had lunch earlier down there before filming this. This is pretty neat, huh? It's a very, very pretty place. Yeah, and the, the, the tallest building here, I believe there's like a Ritz-Carlton hotel and uh, maybe one more hotel? Or is it just the Ritz-Carlton? I, I should check this before I even started the video, but yeah, the Galleria is actually uh, just over here, which is where we're going to start off at. Lots of shops, lots of restaurants. Um, there's a terrace. They have the Suntory Museum of Art, which is kind of cool. The Plaza. Ritz-Carlton Tokyo is over there. Yeah, more more shops and stuff. Uh, the 2121 design site is a gallery that's actually in the park behind here. And uh, the Midtown Garden, yeah, that's the name of the, the park that's back there, Hinokicho Park. 
So, um, yeah, they have a directory over here if you want to like come see what kind of restaurants they have. I mean, there's a ton of food here, ton of food. Just kind of show you the courtyard area here. Restaurants with outdoor seating, more outdoor seating. There's a lot of um, seating, which is nice. These, these tables over here, they're all just free for anyone to use. They do have uh, escalators right here that go down. But we won't be going there yet. More restaurants over here. This Chicago pizza place. Yeah, so when I was here earlier walking around, um, it was crowded. There was a lot of uh, office workers just on their lunch break and stuff. But uh, everyone has left. Everyone has returned back to their offices. And um, I noticed the most amount of people went into here, <laughs> into this building. Um, not sure what companies are in there, but uh, they looked nice. A lot of the people were dressed kind of, um, you know, like business casual. Like some guy had a sweatshirt that said the Godfather and he was wearing like slack pants, you know, slack pants, nice shoes, but the sweater said Godfather. The Godfather, the movie, <laughs> and um, you know he had his little office lanyard with his name tag and stuff. So, yeah, it seems like whatever company he's working for, dressing like that is okay, and that's the kind of company I want to work for. I don't like suits. But yeah, um, if you guys have any questions or comments about anything that we're gonna see today, um, leave them down below, and I'll try to reply as best as I can. Make sure you uh, give the video a thumbs up. Definitely helps the algorithm for the video. And uh, subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more walk and talk videos. I know there's a lot of people that do videos with uh, no talking, no commentary. And those ones are usually more popular because people just want the ambiance. But uh, that is not my style. My style is walk and talk to explain cultural things or just what things are um, yeah all right let's go inside so this is the galleria section this is kind of the, the shopping mall side of it of um, kind of higher end shopping here a lot of the stuff I don't even know what it is it seems like it's Italian or French but it's a very nice mall Midtown Winter Gourmet looks like some kind of seasonal stuff yeah going on uh, from November 16th through January 14th and a lot of the different information um, things related to the winter lights, sustainable Christmas tree lighting, installation and performance. Uh, they do have live performances here too sometimes, which is pretty cool. And then they show a map of like where everything is. Very big open space. I like the wood this kind of wood texture on everything, which is nice. But we'll go, uh, let's see, should I go up? Yeah, you know what, I'm gonna go up and then work my way down into the basement. And we'll see all the, the stuff along the way. And uh, with this mall tour, it's not like we're gonna go into all the stores and look at products or anything like that. Uh, it's to give you a sense of what this mall is like, the feelings, the vibes, as you walk through it. Very neat. Yeah, 
I can see outside there's a there's an ice rink in the back it's kind of blown out right now so you can't see uh, looks like this is a smoking room right here on my right kind of an open atrium area there's uh, some just public seating down there anyone can sit relax rest your legs and there's the the rink in the garden outside Before I go that way, let me go this way. Um, there's another window over there. We can maybe take a look. They do have a really famous cake shop here. It's called Harbs. H-A-R-B-S. It's actually this one right here. They have amazing like cheesecakes and layered cakes. They're very expensive per slice. another area. There's more restaurants on this section. Some seating and a water fountain thing. Yeah, Italian restaurants, Japanese restaurants. It's kind of more of the more pricier options. is leading to the outside. Yeah, let's walk this way. And we're we're going to keep going up. I'm going to try to go up to the top, like I said, and then we'll work our way down if possible. Oh, Piero. Yeah, these are the kind of places where it really helps to have a reservation. If you just show up and put your name on the waiting list, uh, you might be waiting like an hour, even longer than that. Harbs, this is the interior of Harbs. It's got a chandelier, many people are uh, enjoying their food. Let's continue up. Okay, so this is technically the third floor Looks like there's an exhibit here. Um, is this product design? Yeah, it looks like a product design exhibit. There's uh, kendama. Some kitchen timers. Uh, some beakers. That's kind of neat. Uh, moving donation box. That's kind of cool. You put money in it and you pass it like a baton like a race. So yeah, what is this? Tokyo Midtown Award 2023 exhibition. Design competition winners. Yeah, that's pretty cool. More uh, Japanese food, the Unagi restaurant. Wow, I can see the menu. It said 7,000 yen for uh, a thing of Unagi. Art of Ora Ura Kusai. Very cool. Oh, this is oh, this is the Suntory Museum of Art. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is looking from the top floor. Very open area. It looks very far down. If you're afraid of heights, I'm so sorry. Kind of boutique shopping. Oh, this looks like hand dyed fabrics, handmade and hand dyed. The sitting area, and they have some pretty cool, like topiary things on this glass shelf. Yeah. Very cool. Nice stroll through the mall. Yeah, the wood gives it a very earthy feel. Uh, this is like a Japanese 
more traditional crafts type of store. You can find some of these kind of craft style souvenir stores in like Asakusa or elsewhere. What is this? IDA shop? EDA shop? I don't know how to say it, but yeah, it looks like product design type of stuff, home goods. Incense, diffusers. Let me go through this middle section. There's a, a very nice piano. LED light installation down there. We'll check it out when we get to the first floor. Very neat. I see a kitchen store over there. It kind of reminds me of William and Sonoma on the other side. Wow, creepy spinning Santa. have some art kind of just in the inside of the column here. That's neat. Looks like it's made of marble. Yeah, here's another piece. That's oh, like jade. Yeah, very pretty. There's a bridge right here that cuts through. I like the soft lighting, just everything feels like soft in here, you know? It's not bright in your face. Like some malls are just like really in your face like that. There's a water feature down there. Uh, I'll show you when we get a little bit closer. Yeah, definitely worth checking this place out. Oh, it looks like, uh, what's over here? Oh, elevators. So here's the elevators. I like the walls all lit up and public restrooms. There's even a men's prayer space. So if you're Muslim, they do have a prayer space in here. Um, I wonder, ah oh yeah, first floor. Women's prayer space on the first floor. And then so the men's prayer space is here on the third floor. So they definitely um, take into consideration um, people's needs, especially if they're not uh, Japanese or, you know. That's pretty cool. I like that. Um, I know Disneyland also has that too. Um, I can't remember where else. I think there was like one or two other shopping malls I saw. Was it Lala Port? I honestly don't remember, but... Um, yeah, they had that kind of uh, prayer room stuff uh, for Muslims. Um, yeah, so there's like a, a cable, like a bunch of cables here that go down. It's kind of maybe hard to see, but water is dripping down them to a kind of like art fountain thing at the bottom. Looks like a furniture store, time and style. Looks really expensive. And this is facing out towards the street where I started. Yeah, more home interior stuff, furniture, diffusers, art. Uh, this is Itoya, which is a very famous um, stationery store brand. Their main store is in Ginza, which is really nice. I highly recommend you go there um, if you need pens or papers, anything like that. Um, I love their pens, their ball pens, inkjet, uh, ink ink pens. God, I can't speak. Yeah, so the water is dripping from there. Down all the way to that basin. Wow, look at all those escalators moving at the same time.
Yeah, come on. It's a bag store. a little bit closer on the side of that uh, bridge that's pretty cool it looks like really thin either paper or stone that's backlit kind of gives that nice warm earthy feeling to it yeah I'm gonna go on my on my hunch and say it's paper for weight issues yeah probably it's paper um, how can we go down I think we need to go, so I'm crossing the bridge again, uh, we'll go this way, ah, there's an escalator right here, yeah, do you guys have large shopping malls like this, or maybe more like upscale ones like this, like where you're from? Do you guys like these kinds of places? I think some of these places are like fun to explore, but I could never afford really anything. It's like not my taste, you know? Uh, this type of stuff is just a little overpriced. It's out of my budget range, I guess is what I should say. I guess the other thing I should say is I'm just poor. <laughs> I am broke. I can't afford the things in these stores. But yeah, I'm more economical, you know, like, I would rather wear like a, a $5 t-shirt instead of like a $250 t-shirt. I would just be afraid to ruin a $250 t-shirt. Wow, there's a lot of uh, disco balls inside of this place. What is this, Joseph? It's kind of cool. see a little bit more of uh, that piano light installation here neat Expensive shoes. I mean, I think the majority of these brands I've never even heard of. More. Right, we're looking back out this way. Just want to give you like different angles of the interior here. Like there's a, a nice quiet sitting nook over here. I'm gonna go bother the people sitting there by walking up to the window and looking out of it. But this is overlooking how I came into the Galleria. This store's interior is kind of cool. Wow. Interesting. Hirotaka Jewelry on my right here. Okay, uh, we're back at the smoking room. At, what's that? Let's go down. Uh, 
let's walk. walking in front of me. I didn't see any signs that said like no filming inside. It just said like no food. Pets were okay as long as they were in a carrier or they were like service dogs. But yeah, I didn't see anything about no pictures or no filming. Whoa. That's really cool. Song. Okay, seems like it. Let's continue. Yeah, I remember coming here um, during Christmas a few years ago, and they had uh, some amazing like Christmas ribbon fabric hanging like in this whole center area. Um, it was amazing, like you know, like deep greens and dark reds and gold. Like the fabrics were huge and they were really, really long, um, just draped all over the inside. It looked really nice. Uh, it looks like this year they don't have that. And then um, at the bottom where that water dripping thing was, they had a, a, the Santa tree. It was like a bunch of mini Santas, like hundreds of miniature Santas that make up one big Christmas tree of miniature Santas. Oh, there's a Harry Winston. Yeah, this is the bottom of that water dripping feature. And all the way from the ceiling, all the way down to here. So if I remember correctly, yeah, that, that Santa tree thing was like right in this space. Could be wrong. But anyways, um, let's look at what else is on the first floor here before we continue. Uh, sorry, is this the first floor? Yeah, this is the first floor. Uh, before we continue to the other areas, before we go underground. Blanik shoes. Diptych. Something nonsense. Yeah, I like this uh, display. kind of cool. Now I almost worked as a window display artist for uh, anthropology back in um, an, like Maryland. Uh, when I was living in Baltimore, I, um, I basically got accepted through a series of interviews and my design um, thing that I had made up for them. And they were like, yeah, we really like what you're doing, but uh, we don't need you here. Can you drive to Annapolis <laughs> every day? <laughs> I was like, what? Like, Annap that's, it was like uh, not at all close to Baltimore. I would have to drive from Baltimore to Annapolis every single day to go work at Anthropology. So I had to decline them, which is kind of sad because they have some really cool window display designs and art and stuff like that. Um, it was like right up my alley with my my installation art and stuff so yeah that's uh, a timeline of 
my alternate reality <laughs> that never happened. So yeah, we're here on the first floor, I think. And uh, here's open eating space. Anyone can just sit here, enjoy some coffee or something. Over here's more restaurants. Uh, the counter custom burgers. How much is a burger? Let's take a look. Uh, we've got old school, 1,590 yen with tax. The counter burger, 1,790 yen with tax. It's pretty pricey. And if the exchange rate um, goes back to the way it was, uh, that's going to be even more expensive for anyone trying to pay with USD. What is this? Oh, Ron Herman. This is kind of cool. The floor is lit up. I like that yellow light on the wall. Water area in the center. Very neat. I guess I'll kind of walk around on this part, the center part. Sometimes they have like pop-up stuff in the in the middle section here. Uh, what do we got? We've got uh, traditional Japanese sweets. They've got yokan and mochi and stuff like that. Very famous shop. Um, on the weekends, this place is really, really crowded. Uh, some of these stores have lines outside of them for people to go in and try to get stuff. Um, what is this place? Sun Fruits. They do. It looks like fresh squeezed juice, but they also have like fruit gift sets. Um, probably really expensive ones. Yeah, a box of... Um, a box of what do you call it? Persimmons. 24,330 yen. Box of strawberries. 11,248. Yeah. Very, very pricey. Um, those are not the kind of stuff that you find in supermarkets. So for the supermarkets, it's more affordable, it's more reasonable. Uh, these ones here are specifically for gifts. And it kind of makes sense to have this here because uh, there's the offices around here and so people if they're getting um you know someone like a gift for like some company reason um that's a good place to pick it up hong kong food there's a bakery here which looks pretty nice jean paul heading this look a very exquisite looking chocolate shop It's crazy. Here's that uh, piano installation. It's open so you can see all the hammers. bit over here and then I'll pass through a restaurant eating area over to the next kind of underground section. I've got a Japanese restaurant over here. Looks like they've got traditional kind of foods. So let me take a look in the display window. Oh, it looks like Teishoku, but it's very expensive Teishoku. Oh my god. 
1,650 yen for that. I could get this from a different place for like half that price. It's like premium teishoku. What is the difference? I don't know. Could be just the name of it. Suzunami. Uh, so these are all like premium gourmet type of stuff. Gourmet bentos, gourmet restaurants, gourmet shopping. Uh, there's a food market down here. It's like a smaller kind of supermarket. I see a liquor store in there, delicatessen. They have some Christmas things here. I see like international chocolates. Flowers. This produce section. Yeah, so it's a it's a full-fledged supermarket. A little bit small, but looks uh, looks nice. Unfortunately, we're not going in there, guys. Uh, it's not a supermarket tour, <laughs> but there happens to be a supermarket included in our tour along the way as we walk. So I am going to cut diagonally across and we're going to go through kind of eating area to a different section look around there and then we'll go outside we'll check out the garden space um, what's nice about this is it's all connected um, like down below is actually uh, access to the train station it's a Japanese liquor shop sake and stuff very nice So here, I uh, actually ate lunch here earlier today, um, in here. There's a lot of different options, udon and tempura, right here. Um, they've got Vietnamese food. We've got oyakodon restaurants. Yeah, I ate right here. This is a ochazuke, healthy fast food. So it's basically rice with uh, different toppings and then you pour hot dashi, hot broth, on it. And um, it's very affordable, very cheap, very tasty. Yeah, Vietnamese pho. But they also have a tom yum, a Thai, Thai noodle dish. Takoriko, best place for tacos. Uh, they make tacos to order right in front of you, similar to Chipotle. Um, but to be honest, this place I don't like. Um, there's another one similar to it called Frioles uh, in Tokyo Station and uh, in Shibuya, I believe. And uh, they are like way more like Chipotle. Like the size is like Chipotle and the, it tastes like Chipotle. This flower shop, very pretty. So this is uh, popping out to the other section. This is um, underneath that courtyard area in the beginning where we saw the water feature. So you can actually see it right above our heads moving. And uh, those office buildings all connect right down to here. We're, we're actually underground right now. This is uh, basement level one. And uh, this goes down even further, basement two. some Netflix advertisements on these pillars. Which is kind of cool. We have Midtown West. This is the Fuji Film Headquarter one. Well, they can just come straight down here, go straight to the restaurants. Um, there's a conven there's a 7-Eleven convenience store in here. There's a, a pharmacy. Um, I believe there's a, a post box too, or a post office. It's kind of like a lot of stuff all in one. Um, they've got a Muji, a Muji store. Nice uh, lifestyle and home goods type of store. It's similar to Uniqlo, but I think a little bit better. 
yeah, just, you know, very nice, comfortable, easy clothing. Nothing, there's like no logos or anything crazy on the stuff. Like it's all just very plain, nice colors, nice design. And we've got this art piece right here in the center. Yeah, on the weekends, I've seen children climb into this thing and climb on it and stuff. Yeah, I'm not sure what's actually over here. Uh, have I, I don't think I've been here, but let's go take a look. We're kind of exploring right now. So most of the stuff I've shown so far, I've, I've seen it before, but right now uh, I am going to unknown territory. What is this? It goes down. I don't know, let's go take a look. We've got a cool water waterfall wall. Wow. This whole wall is a waterfall. That's huge. What is that? One, two, three, four. That's four stories. Yeah, I just, just wanted to see where this goes. Um, oh, it connects to Rapongi Station. Ah, okay. So I, I said that there was a the station um, underneath here. I didn't know that this was actually going to it. So yeah, if you wanted to, you could walk directly into Tokyo Midtown building via the subway. Uh, I guess you would have to look specifically for the exit number. Um, looks like exit 7, exit 8, Tokyo Midtown. Yeah, and that's uh, the Oedo line. So if you take the Oedo line, you can come directly here. Let's go back in and up and then we'll go out. Yeah, what do you guys think so far? Is it nice? I'd say this is pretty nice. Um, what is this way? Oh, it's just a, a corridor and then it goes down. So I guess it connects to the station by stairs over there as well. Um, Pokemon Concierge, new show on Netflix. I want to see that. I think it's supposed to be like stop motion animation, maybe? Or CG that looks like stop motion animation. Let's get out of here. Let's let's um, surface, I guess. Oh, they have a display screen here. It shows uh, today's events, conferences. Um, today's events. They've got the ice rink going on, some snow scenes. It literally just says some snow scenes. Um, between 11 and 11. Sustainable Christmas tree. Tama Design High School. Oh, so that was that design thing that we saw. Okay. Yeah, let's go out to the garden. The garden. How do we get to the garden from here? I think I have to backtrack. I have to backtrack to the east side. East side. East side ballers. You guys know what I'm talking about. Leave a comment about the east side ballers. I'm so glad I'm here on a Monday. Because <laughs> let me tell you, 
Saturday and Sunday. This place is a madhouse. All right, how can we go up? Up, 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 up. I see, uh, looks like escalators over there. Oh, you know what? This way is better. I like this piano thing. That's so cool. warm inside. I'm starting to sweat in my jacket. Can I go out this door? There's, oh, there's a, there's like a bridge that connects out. I think it's this way. Yeah, let's go up. Because we're, we're still in the basement, right? So we have to go up to the first floor. leads to that. Yeah, there's like this arched bridge that goes out to the garden space. Oh, and then before I go there, there was one last thing I wanted to show you. Uh, they do have restrooms down here, but they have this uh, pet store with grooming and pet products and stuff. So you can see some cute puppies getting trimmed uh, back inside of there. Yeah, whenever I come here, I use the restroom and then uh, take a minute to watch like people's dogs get like their nails cut and hair trimmed. It's very cute. Yeah, uh, you can see it right there. <laughs> All right. So we are outside, guys. There's uh, some restaurants here. Some nice outdoor seating. We've got the heaters. There's more outdoor, just free seating. The 2121 gallery is actually just right over there. Um, yeah, very nice. Uh, at night, this place is all illuminated. So this is where it's gonna be really crazy in the evening. Everyone's coming out here to see the, the illuminations and stuff. Yeah, on rainy days, that bridge is very slippery. So if you're coming here and it's raining, please be careful. Uh, I like the momiji, nice and red over there. Yeah, these trees, I can see every single one of them has Christmas lights on them. Now this guy's hand mowing. Haven't seen one of those in a long time. I guess uh, for noise reasons, they don't use a, an engine powered lawnmower. Yeah, wow. I haven't used one of those in ages. Yeah, so very nice outdoor garden space. This is very cool. Very kind of quote unquote romantic, especially in the evenings. You know, we can see uh, the Toranomon building over there. Uh, we've got more of the Midtown buildings here. Yeah, this place is kind of neat. The 2121 design place. They had an exhibit like with wood. Oh, there's a cute little puppy uh, with wood. And it was pretty cool. And then there was one with rice. And so they had like different products made from rice. And, I don't know, it's kind of cool. They show like some old stuff and some new stuff, you know. And there's usually like pop-up events and stuff in that space. So for now, there's the ice skating rink. But I remember on a live stream, there was uh, like a Louis Vuitton, like huge thing. It was like neon pink. Um, I can't remember what the release was for, but yeah, that was uh, one thing that they had going on. And then in this like literal space right in front of me, this green area, they had a, like a, a pop-up cafe area. So you could sit underneath these trees 
Um, it was summertime, I believe, and like sit in the shade and enjoy like a cold ice drink. And they had that all set up right in here. So it's kind of cool. It's like an ever evolving space. You can see the back side of the Tokyo Midtown over there. Uh, looks like uh, the Ritz Carlton has a little coffee truck here, which is pretty nice. The Ritz Carlton Tokyo Winter Cafe. They got like s'mores and some hot cocoa. Yeah, s'mores, 950 yen for that s'more, really? Oh my god. Oh, so this rink looks like it's uh, a collaboration with Coach. They've got all these lights here. It's a Coach Christmas tree. People are taking photos with it. Yeah, and then uh, another nice feature about this park back here is there's a playground for children and stuff. And a lot of it, uh, the things in it are like this. They're sculptural. So even the playground itself, like the swing, uh, the swings and the slides, all that stuff is, uh, it's like very artistic, very sculptural. So what is this? Uh, adults, 1,800 yen children 1100 yen um that's weekday prices to go ice skating here and they do have restrooms here yeah, there's a, a japanese garden area as well so ah nice ginkgo trees still greenish yellow it's turning uh am i going out of the park this way oh it it is. <laughs> I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta backtrack. I mean, if I went that way, there's another way to go back into the park, but I want to stay within the park, you know? Show you guys, because this video is about Tokyo Midtown. And everything within this park is about Tokyo Midtown. Very nice though. Minus the sirens blaring in the distance. Yeah, this grass is very nice. It's like high, like Kentucky bluegrass level, like very nice. It looks very soft. pedestrian walkway bridge that connects from the mall out to the, the park, the Midtown Garden. Uh, and the back here is actually the entrance to the Ritz-Carlton. I can see it. see orange barriers inside of the park. I guess they're doing something. They're not letting children play there. Maybe they're letting the grass grow back or something. Oh, here's some dogs. People walking their dogs. Shiba Inu and, a, and something. Looks like a little Pomeranian. <laughs> Pomeranian with a shaved face. Yeah, on the weekends, this place, there's people like with picnic mats and stuff. There's children, you know playing soccer and running around screaming and yeah this is uh the slide i was talking about here a kind of sculptural slide piece i think i did a live stream here and i went down it and it was covered in spider webs it's kind of scary yeah oh grass growing period october 19th to december 15th so it's almost finished yeah the grass is looking a little full Looking very nice and lush. I didn't know that. It was actually closed down since October. That 
Uh, this feature up here is actually the, the swings. We can see the swings. It's very architecturally, sculpturally designed. Got more dogs over here. Cute dog interactions. <laughs> Very pretty trees. Yeah, we're just kind of in the heart of Rapongi. Chilling. Okay, there's a, looks like a, I don't even know if this is a half court. This is more like a quarter court. There's a basketball hoop here. benches and stuff over here. Um, huge wisteria tree along the whole top of this thing. So in like May, June, it's going to be really nice wisteria hanging from here. And this is the Japanese garden section. It's a nice pond here. I believe, uh, I don't think there were fish or anything in this last time I was here, but I remember there were ducks. Uh, so they have some nice kind of seating areas right here. You can just chill in the shade. Yeah, it's looking kind of plain and barren right now. I guess the ducks migrated for the winter. <laughs> they got out of here. Maybe they went south to Kyushu or something. But yeah, no fish, to my knowledge. There might be fish. But to my knowledge, no fish. Yeah, look at this. The red momiji. Oh, it's starting to get a little gray around the edges. Just quiet, chill city park walk. I don't see any fish at all. Um, but it's very clear, it looks very clean. Kind of dark, I'm sorry. Uh, we're actually in the shadow of the building. The sun's on the other side of it. So it's making it look really dark over here. But let me um, go through this park and then we'll go out back towards like the front of Midtown and uh, basically wrap up the tour. Um, there's a lot of other things I'm sure that I couldn't show you. Uh, like I said, the office sections are totally off limits for me. I don't work here, so I can't enter those restricted areas. But um, yeah, hopefully I gave you guys a, a nice overall sense of what Tokyo Midtown is like in Roppongi. There's other Tokyo Midtowns in Tokyo. Um, I believe this is the biggest one. And uh, yeah, very cool. Cool place to visit. It's water flow. Yeah, this is all artificial, you know, it's man-made, but it's nice. Like, the sound of water flowing is good. That's a good one, too. It's, like, deeper. It doesn't sound all shallow and loud. Like, splashing. It's, like, actually heavy water flowing. I prefer that sound more. Let's make our way back. So let's see. The Galleria is this way. The Plaza is also this way. I'm trying to head towards the Plaza. So 
Oh, can I do it this way? Can I go this way? Yes. I believe so. Let's take the stairs. Very cool. So yeah, what did, what did you guys think so far? Pretty much almost over. exists. You can just walk straight to the garden from the building itself. And actually this looks like it goes between the two buildings. So it actually doesn't go through the building itself. The building is over here. Yeah, and this is uh, the office, uh, offices. Yeah, all those people are going in. You have to go through a security thing, I believe. Yeah, we're here back where the beginning of the video was with the sculpture and the water feature. Giant glass canopy. Beautiful Monday afternoon, guys. After this, I am going home because uh, I live streamed earlier this morning and then I walked for this. My legs are a little bit tired and I walked 17,000 steps yesterday. So yeah, I am ready to not walk anymore. <laughs> I could, but yeah. Looking forward to just taking off my shoes, sitting down, changing into some sweatpants. being lazy for the rest of my day off. There's a Starbucks. I'm trying to remember if there's uh, anything else like over on this corner. I think there was just, yeah, there's just more escalators that go down underground from here. And if I was to go straight, that goes right to like the main street through Roppongi and leads to Roppongi Hills. And um, it's very nice in the afternoon. There's like sunshine bouncing and reflecting off of all the glass buildings and stuff. So it just kind of like lights it up in a nice way. It's very, very pretty, very bright. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for coming along with me on this walking tour of Tokyo Midtown here in Roppongi. Uh, I hope that you guys really enjoyed what you saw. And um, if you've been here before, let me know in the comments. If you haven't been here, um, what did you see that you enjoyed the most? Or what was something that you saw that maybe you want to see in the future? Um, let me know in the comments. And uh, thank you again uh, for watching. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Please take care. And uh, yeah, stay moist. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.